iTunes. Now then, now one of my subscribers, Michael, he asked, he said, why don't you do a tutorial when you do a drawing? Well, I thought I'd never done a tutorial before and I don't know how on earth I would teach anybody instruct anybody or whatever to do a drawing because you don't really um yeah don't know that i would have any idea how to explain what i do so i thought i'd show you what i've done so far on this drawing and talk about it. I don't quite know what I'm gonna say. Um. Well, this drawing is taken from a photograph, but the photograph is not really what I want. I'm trying to reproduce it's hard to explain but all the photograph is is a, a guide in a way it's a bit like music when you when you you, you, you see the dots on a page you know the sheet music if you were playing if you were playing to that music if you were sight reading it you you wouldn't be able to look at every dot and play the play play. You, there was no way you could read all the dots fast enough to play it. Now I've never sight read. I've always played the piano from memory, so I don't really know how a sight reader plays. But I do know he can't possibly read all the dots. So he's I don't know what he's doing scanning it. And it's like a guide. He might not even be looking at it much, but take it away and he'd be lost. Something like that. Well, that's a bit like I am with a drawing. When I'm doing a drawing, the it's a sort of a guide. I'm not trying to reproduce it exactly. I'm trying to create a piece of art from that. So I'm, I very rarely... Every occasionally look at, at the the photograph, but what I'm trying to do is create an image on the paper. Now, sometimes things work, and you, when this, I'm, I'm hoping I'm I'm focusing. You know, if you look at that bit there, there, now that bit works, doesn't it? Because you get a sense that there's distance and that you're going to go around a corner and that the, the shadow in the, the bushes on that side, it, that bit there works. That's what you're trying to achieve. You're trying to achieve a sense that you could literally walk down that path. Now, if you ask me how to achieve that, I couldn't even dis begin to explain it. I don't know. You just work it until it comes. And it'll either come or it won't. If it doesn't, the, the drawing's a failure. Now, the rest of it's not there. I don't, I don't see. It's sort of there. Not quite. And the same applies to to most of it, it's sort of coming. You can see it's like 3D. You've got to, with, with pastel, this is a pastel drawing. You've got to layer it. You've got to put down a layer, a bit like, oh, 
over here there's some yellow. There. You see that yellow there? Well, obviously it's just a blurry yellow. But it's the, that is going to be developed. But you, you can't get it all at one go. You've got to lay it down and then fix it and then put another layer on top and build it up. And that's what's going on all over here. You're building it up. That's vague. It's not defined. And you, obviously this is further away than this. All this, this area over here is nearer. So that's going to be more defined than that area over there. So you achieve distance by making this area over here not as defined. There's, there will be a vagueness to it, whereas as you get nearer and nearer, it becomes more defined. I mean, this, this lamp post, this, sorry, this signpost here, what I'm trying to achieve here is a, a signpost where light has hit it and illuminated part of the wood, which is green with the, all the leaves. Have, it's gone green. The, the post was made out of wood, but it's gone green with all the foliage and the rain on it. And the sun is hitting it, illuminating this green post. And it's illuminating it even more up here because it's higher up nearer the sun away from this is dark darker it's darker down here i've got to bring this path further around here and bring light and shadows across it um so it, it, it it's building it building it up working it up and working it putting layers on top of layers until you get a definition now that I don't know if I could explain any more than that. When I'm doing it, I don't even know whether I'll be able to talk about what I were doing. I've never tried it. But I'm going to do some more work on this today. So we would take it. I'll, I'll maybe be able to talk while I'm doing it. I don't know. Never tried it before. Okay. So... It's so about all I can say. I mean, down here, there's no going on yet. Um, with a pastel, you do have to tend to not work the these areas too much because you, you, your tendency to smudge them with your hand. So tend, I tend to work down. Um, I mean, if you're on an easel and you're working like that on an easel, you, you you won't touch it, so it won't matter. But when I'm working flat, um, I could put it on an easel. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. I don't know why. There you go. There's, what What I ought to say as well is when you're doing something like this, well, when I'm doing something like this, I imagine that the light is coming from a particular direction. In this drawing, the light is coming from over here, this way. So, everything, this side of the post is going to be darker. Like the, that, these trees here, that, side of the tree is going to be darker it everywhere where you can imagine the sun hits it will be light and that where it it's shaded it's going to be dark and you keep the consistency of that that the shade everything everything's going to be light on this side and dark on this side because the sun's coming from that direction so you you create the 3D effect of form, you give it substance and form by creating light and shade so that it looks like it's real, that it's literally there rather than just flat. 
You understand that? Look who's here, folks. Hiya. Have you missed her? <laughs> mm. It's half past eight. Just had breakfast. Half past eight. It's an hour early. That's night. <laughs> Tough. What on earth was that? I have no idea. I've got ghosts. Um. Now Pat is going to be here tomorrow because uh, it's she's got Easter. Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday off because it's Easter. So we're going to have a live at half past twelve tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, so I thought I'd let you know about that if you're not gallivanting off somewhere. Oh, I might be out for a day or... Weekend or whatever. Oh, because people do things, don't they? Mm. Silly, aren't they? Mm. But never mind. We all have our crosses to bear. <laughs> Going, joining the queue on Good Friday and Bank Holiday Monday. Oh. Yeah, all that just without shopping. Oh, just uh, doing. Even that could be tiresome. I mean, if they've been at work all week or. Or it might be reverse, going shopping, it mm. might be quiet. Mm. Why is there? There's something up in that tree up there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is that a pigeon? Oh, could be. Oh, it's pigeon not moving. Sleep. No. Um, They're still down until they've got more leaves on. They keep expanding the leaves. Yeah, the uh, all these are coming out. Mm. Right, anyway, I just thought I'd let you know. Tomorrow at, at half past twelve if you're around. Okay. Okay. See you, folks. Bye. Bye.